Hello and welcome to the PC Michigan Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain. We are in the Faster Windows 7 series where I walk you through step by step with very short tips on how to speed up your Windows 7 operating system. So let's get this road on the show. Go to PCMichiana.com, www.PCMichiana.com, P-C-M-I-C-H-I-A-N-A.com. We're going to download a free antivirus utility that we can use on our computer. Now, in the previous video, we uninstalled our old antivirus that we don't want to pay for anymore. Now, remember, this is freeware, which means it's free for personal use, not for company or corporate use. You know who you are. So in the free download section, there's a drop down. Just highlight over it, it'll drop down. And then we want to scroll down to antivirus. So we have Avist Home Edition, which is probably the most popular, most powerful one out there right now for free antiviruses. It's one of them anyway. AVG Free Edition, which is actually quickly becoming the worst free antivirus out there. Avira Antivirus is probably the second best between the two, between the three. Now there's a few more free ones out there that are, um, that are very good also, and I haven't put them on here yet, but we're going to roll with Avis because I think it actually performs uh, quite well, and it also has the smallest performance hit on your computer. So go ahead and select Avis Home on the website, and this is going to bring out the actual post, and as you can see, you can select Download Avis Home Edition, and then we're going to actually click here to download it because that'll actually bring us to the download site that we want to use. Now, I don't host the downloads myself because you know, they're constantly updating them, and I want to make sure you guys get the latest version. As you can see, the editor's ratings and the user ratings are very high on the Avist antivirus. So you are going to be happy with this. I can, I can pretty much guarantee you that. So go ahead and go to Download Now and select that. And then uh, that's going to bring up our download, and then we're going to actually save it. So let's go ahead and bring it here. I'm going to go ahead and save it to my downloads folder, and of course it shows up right down here in the bottom left hand corner. Now remember, if you have, um, you never want to have more than one antivirus installed, so you're only going to install one free antivirus software. So you pick the one you want, and you can read reviews on it. Everyone has their like own opinion on what the best antivirus is, so I don't want to step on anybody's toes. Just pick one that you're happy with, this is the one I like to use, and then just roll with it. So after this is done downloading it, go ahead and open it. Um, if you're using Internet Explorer, you'll probably, probably click Run. And uh, when that runs, just click Run again. And then, of course, this is going to actually uh, you know, start running you through the installer. Now, the Avis installation is very easy. Select your language and click Next. And uh, I'm going to participate in the Avis community because if you know I get an issue uh, with uh, something not working properly, they're going to help support the company. And I'm, I'm for that for companies that have freeware versions. I'll click Next. And it's going to create a system restore point for me. Now this is going to be a restore point that was created after my old restore point. So my old restore point won't have this software on it. So this is all part of the process of actually starting to set up your computer and getting it prepared to, uh, you know, function properly. Uh, and it's good to go in order. These little steps, one at a time, are, are usually the best way to do it. And this is what I do every time I sit in front of somebody else's computer or a company computer. You know, not obviously I don't use this software. I use a commercial software, uh, and I start optimizing it. I actually do things in this order. So that's why I set it up this way. Okay, so the installation looks like it's pretty much complete. I have uh, ESAT Smart Com Security on my computer, so this is probably going to cause me all kinds of very weird issues <laughs> because I'm. Uh, and so Welcome a second to Avast. on my computer. And now Avis is installed, so I'm going to go ahead and click Finish. Now, I don't recommend installing multiple antiviruses, but let me go ahead and go down here, bottom right hand corner, you'll see the Avis icon, so go ahead and double click on that. And ignore these, uh, these firewall warnings I'm getting. You're not going to get those. That's my other antivirus yelling at me. And here we have Avis free antivirus uh, opened up. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to. I'm going to walk you through actually optimizing Avis for your computer because there's actually a way to make it run faster and better. And uh, we're also going to scan your computer and make sure all your real-time shields are running. So thanks for stopping by. As always, leave comments and ratings. Ratings, and don't forget to subscribe, share with friends and family because that's the only way to make sure PC Michiana grows. And I hope you stay tuned.